Hello, how to solve for s in this equation s to the power of 3 is equal to 5 to the power of 3. Now here we have s to the power of 3 is equal to 5 to the power of 3. Now this is s to the power of 3. If we take this 5 to this side, we have minus 5 to the power of 3 is equal to 0. Take note of this that if you have a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3, this is equal to a minus b bracket a square plus a b plus b square. And from this equation, a is equal to s, b is equal to 5. Therefore, s raised to power 3 minus 5 raised to power 3 is equal to s minus 5 bracket s square plus 5 multiplied by s plus 5 square is equal to 0. Then this is s minus 5 bracket s square plus s times 5 that is 5 s plus 5 square 25 is equal to 0. There are two cases here. The first case is s minus 5 equal to 0 or s square plus 5 s plus 25 equal 0. From here, s is equal to 5. And from here, this is a quadratic equation which can be solved using quadratic general formula. And our quadratic general formula here is giving us s is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. He, from the equation a is equal to 1 b is equal to 5 and then c is equal to 25 then s is equal to minus 5 plus or minus square root of 5 square minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 25 divided by 2 multiply by 1. S is equal to minus 5 plus or minus square root of 5 square. This is 25 minus 4 multiply by 1 multiply by 25. That is 100 divided by 2 multiply by 1, 2. S is equal to minus 5 plus or minus square root of 25 minus 100, that is minus 75 divided by 2. Then S is equal to minus 5 plus or minus square root of 75 multiplied by minus 1. But square root of minus 1 is equal to i then over 2. s is equal to minus 5 plus or minus square root of 75 i over 2. Therefore, s2 is equal to minus 5 plus or minus square root of 75i over 2 or std is equal to minus 5 plus or minus square root of 75i over 2 and we have s1 which is s1 is equal to what 5 this and the final answer. We can check to confirm if this answer is right or wrong. Let's check. To check,
we have the given equation s to the power of 3 is equal to 5 to the power of 3 then when s is equal to 5 because these two are complex solution or imaginary solution so we can only check using this real solution when s is equal to 5 we have 5 to the power of 3 must be equal to 5 to the power of 3 and we know that 5 to the power of 3 is 125 then here 125 is equal to 125 which is true for s is equal to 5 i hope you enjoyed the video please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye